Hey family, I had to share this incredible testimony with you guys about an old man and a little girl. And it comes from my dear friend, Brother Tom, uh, Watchman River. And he shared this on his channel. It just, it made me cry. It, it lifted up my uh, heart and just such an incredible testimony, glorifying Jesus Christ. So he gave me permission to share this clip with you. And I just want all of you to see this testimony, to hear this testimony. I hope it encourages you to place your faith in Jesus if you haven't yet, or to share the love of Jesus Christ with someone around you, with your neighbor, a friend, a loved one, whoever it is that God puts it on your heart to do so. So without further ado, please enjoy this testimony and praise God with me in another soul coming to salvation. But we'll get to that. I have to read this email. It's incredible. Here goes. It's the story of Dennis and Emily. Tom, my name is Dennis and I'm 99 years old. Across the street from where I lived nine years ago, a new couple moved in. Shortly after they moved in, I heard the man shouting, it's a girl. And I looked outside to see him attach two pink balloons to his mailbox and then he yelled thank you Jesus over the next nine years I have become friends with that family as neighbors should I have watched that baby girl grow into a beautiful and bright young lady her name is Emily and one day last week she came over to sit and talk to me on my front porch as we do from time to time she said do you want to meet my friend Tom to which I replied sure she went running off to her house and came back with only her backpack. I wondered who or what Tom might be. She went digging into her backpack and she pulled out her tablet. She said as she began to fiddle with it, I hope the, the Wi-Fi works over here. And before I knew it, there you were on the scene. And she said, that's my friend Tom. And she told me to listen. We listened to your entire show. And during it, you said you were old which she laughed and looked at me and said, ha ha, you're old, not him. <laughs> today, meaning yesterday, because I got this email yesterday, last night. Today, Emily and I were sitting together on her front porch. And once again, she pulled out her tablet and we watched you today, March 21st, 2024. She was angry during the part when you talked about the three young bank robbers who were kids. And then towards the end of the video, I looked at her and tears were just flowing down her face. I asked her what was wrong and here's what she said. You have been my friend my entire life and soon we won't be friends anymore. I asked her why and she said, because you don't know Jesus like I do. You haven't been saved. We have talked about this very thing before, but then went on with our lives. Today, I could feel the hurt in her heart because of my not having been saved. Now, many of people have tried to convince me over all these years about Jesus, but I always, I'm always too stubborn or too stupid to really listen. Today, as I listened to both you and Emily, I heard someone else as well. I heard the Holy Spirit for the first time in my almost 100 years. I asked Emily to help me kneel down. And do you know that tiny little 57 pound girl practically picked me up from the chair herself. She then screamed at the top of her little lungs, thank you, Jesus. And together we knelt there on her front porch and I committed myself to our Lord Jesus Christ. Her parents came out in a panic because they didn't know what was happening. And she just waved off and said, kneel down and pray with us. He just got saved. <laughs> After a few hugs and handshakes and tears of joy, we all stood there wondering what's next. And then Emily handed me her Bible and said, you can borrow this until I buy you your own. It's going to be for your birthday. My birthday isn't until April 16th, but she made it clear that today I was a born again Christian. I want you to realize, Tom, why you do what you do each and every day. I live alone. Well, I lived alone until today, that is. And I have no loving family until today. So please don't stop what you're doing. From 9 to 99, you're reaching people 
Thanks be to Jesus. Thank you, Dennis. Dennis. Oh, my goodness. Emily. Oh, my goodness. That just blows my mind. That's all Jesus. This almost 100-year-old man turned to Jesus yesterday. It's never too late. It's never too late. But I have to tell you, though, time is short. Time is short. We're getting very, very close to that rapture. But this story right here just... May the name of Jesus be praised. The way he uses people... The way he uses people is so incredible.